a battle brewing over this beachfront house. The owners may be about to lose it. The owners fell behind on their taxes and they were given a deadline to pay up. They didn't have the money, but a friend did and gave the town a check for more than $57,000. But the town may not take that money. Ryan Kath shows us why. All my children learned to water ski off that pier. Take one look at the view from Frank Costa's property and you'd think life is pretty good. Life's been tough. But you'd be wrong. We screwed up. We did. The recession, health issues, starting a new business, all those things meant property taxes to the town of Plymouth were not at the top of the list. What did you think when you read this? What I think I had a heart attack. Joanne Costa is talking about getting a letter saying she and Frank were behind $57,000 in taxes. And unless they could come up with the money by September 30th, the house her father built in 1958 would be taken away. I burst into tears. I threw up for about three hours, paced around, and cried a lot. But then came a surprise at the 11th hour. A friend actually came up with a check for $57,000, but the problem is... The town hasn't cashed it yet. My fear on this is that we accept this payment and two years from now we're in exactly the same position. Okay. Town selectman Tony Provenzano says the tax problems go back many years. And instead, he wonders if the town should look at using the property or selling it for market value. I'm also thinking of the taxpayers of Plymouth who pay their taxes on a regular basis. We can't run this town with folks who pay their taxes once every five years. This is it. This Every dime I have, this is my retirement. Frank and his wife say they don't want a handout. They just want to hand over the check and start over. What's the fair outcome here? The town take the check and let me walk away with money to move on. Along Saquish Head Beach in Plymouth, Ryan Kath, WBZ News.